So you're streaming, but you also want to share your camera with someone else in a web call, but you can't have your camera on in OBS and in the web call at the same time. Actually you can, and it's way easier now than it was not that long ago. So this video is going to show you exactly how to do that. You can have your cake and eat it too. Now what I'm about to show you is pretty easy overall, but there's some quirks. So make sure that you watch the whole video to understand those. And there's some bonus things that it can do that you may not notice when you first install this. And I'll show you those as well. You are definitely going to want to see all the things that this can do. So if you've ever done a collaborative stream, then you know that this is such a pain, right? You want to have your camera on at its top quality in your own stream, but then they want to have your camera on in their stream. And so you think, okay, well maybe I have to like turn it off in OBS. I got to put it in the web call and then I have to window capture the web call. My quality of my camera sucks now. Forget all of that. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to look for OBS virtual cam uh, by going to obsproject.com uh, or you can just Google it. And I brought up the wrong page on purpose because I want you to see this so that you don't get the wrong version of this. So uh, where it says this version of the plugin is currently deprecated, should not be used with OBS 25, uh, please use the this version instead. So click that link. This actually works for 25 and beyond. This demo is going to be done with 27. Uh, and then this is the one that you want. So you'll click go to download, get the installer. It's an EXC, open her up. And then you're going to want to go through this a little slowly because there is a moment in this install that you need to pay attention to. You click next, next for the license, choose the destination. And then here, you want to pause. This drop down has just one, but if you want to give yourself multiple virtual outputs, um, then you need to click this and choose up to four. Um, I just put four. Why not? Four is better than one, right? Click install and then finish. And there you go. Okay. So now we have OBS running and let's add our webcam as step one. Video capture device. Find your webcam. Sweet. All right. And since we're going to have this in here, I'm going to get rid of the little bottom corner version of me. <laughs> Bye, guy. Okay. So uh, my webcam is in OBS. Great. And let's say it's in a scene with, you know, my video game or whatever. Uh, should I even put like a sample of that? I guess I could. Cool. Look at me. I'm playing Dota. All right. I've set it up the my stream the way I like it. Here I am. I'm streaming. I'm live. I got my game going and I want to add uh, my camera to a call with my friend who's also streaming and wants to have my camera shown in their stream. How do I do this? So I'm going to go to my video capture device in my source list, right click it and click filters and then effect filters. I'm going to click plus and virtual cam. And now you're going to get this menu. This is, this is fantastic here. Target camera is going to be the output name that you're going to use in your, um, in your call, right? So let's say you're using zoom and you want to choose which webcam to use in the zoom call. Then you're looking for the name that you're going to select here. So you got OBS camera and then OBS camera two, three, and four. So for the purposes of just uh, making this easy to remember, I'm going to call it camera three. I'm just going to pick one. And then you have to click start. So click start and then you can close this. All right. So now watch this. I'm going to start a zoom call and I'm going to find this camera. Okay, cool. So here's my zoom call and I'm going to choose my camera. And remember we chose OBS camera three and click start video. And there it is. And they're getting this at full resolution. It's not being fed to them at the size that it is in the scene that I'm using it in, in OBS, they're getting a hundred percent quality in the call. So if I make this thing full screen, 
it's still 1080. Obviously, it's influenced by the uh, available quality of the call program that you're using. It may be downscaled to 720 based on how the the call software scales things or compresses things or whatever. But the point is, you are at least sending them the best you can send them. Pretty fantastic. And I still have 100% of the quality that I wanted for my own stream. Okay, let's take this a step further, okay? If you want to send them your whole stream, OBS already has that baked-in feature here on the right-hand side. It says Start Virtual Camera. Now, if you hit start on that, it's giving them the program, right? The complete scene that is currently live. And now we'll go back into my call and we have to select that. So you're going to change the webcam to OBS virtual camera. And that's giving them your entire stream at, again, the full quality. So if you change scenes in OBS, and we'll actually do this right now, I'm going to make a second scene um, where maybe it's just my whole webcam full screen. I'm going to scale this so that you can see both here. This is the Zoom call. This is OBS. And if I change the scenes, there you go. They're getting exactly whatever I'm, I'm showing my audience on my stream, right? Pretty cool. Now, you can also share other kinds of sources other than just a webcam. If you wanted to send them only the game footage, regardless of what's happening in your stream, you can do that too. So I'll go and we'll pretend this image is my game capture source, right, of Dota 2. Right click it, filters, virtual camera. Then I'll just put this on something else. I'll, I'll say, let's put game footage on OBS camera 2 and click start and then close that. So now my game is being sent to a virtual camera. So if I go into my OBS call and I change the camera I'm sending to them to OBS camera two, they're now only getting my game footage from my uh, game capture source. So regardless of what I do in my own stream, they're only being fed my game. So this is like maybe they want to do their own commentary on your gameplay and you want to just send them the raw footage because maybe there's not an observer mode in the game, right? But they want to do their own stream commenting on, on your gameplay. Well, this is one way you can do that. Now let's dive another layer deeper. Not only can you share your webcam or other sources in OBS into your web call, you can also share specific scenes as a virtual camera. So check this out. Go to the scene that you want to share, right click it, filters, virtual camera, and assign this one a camera, assign this scene a camera. I'm going to say camera four, right? Because right now we're giving our webcam a three or game footage with two. Let's give them this scene uh, an OBS camera four and click start and then close it. So now let's go into our web call, choose OBS camera four. There's the scene, but you'll notice regardless of what I'm doing in my, my own stream, they're still only getting the scene that I want them to have. So I can do whatever I want live and they're just getting whatever I want them to get. And I, I don't know what to say. It's Pretty freaking amazing. I think it's my favorite OBS plugin of all time. What do you think? Is there a plugin that you like that's even more amazing than this OBS virtual camera? Let me know in the comments and maybe I'll do a video about it. Uh, you can also check out another video that I did where I named some of my other favorite plugins uh, for OBS. So make sure you check that video out and um, thanks so much. I will see you guys later. Um, don't forget to like this video if it was useful and uh, Peace out. Welcome, and thanks for calling the RN Hawaii YouTube hotline. In a few words, tell us what you're calling about. You can say things like, my stream won't start, or how did you do that thing with your webcam? I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Press zero to reach an operator who can assist you.